Hi, this is Solan from Nether Studio with another Flash CS6 uh, tip. Today, we're gonna learn how to get the transparent background and the Swift file exported from Adobe Flash CS6. We're gonna be using the free application called Not++ and for Mac users, you can search for Coda or you can use the text editor or search in Google for any other HTML CSS editor. As you know, the process will be the same. It doesn't matter if you're using Notepad++ or Coda. And also, we're going to be using Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 and make this work. As you know, a few days ago, I uploaded a video tutorial on YouTube and I got some feedbacks and questions. The first question is how to solve the error that they're having trying to preview in Firefox exported from Dreamweaver CS6. So I'm going to show you the exact problem what we having. Actually, I have for the first time when I tried to preview in Firefox, I had the same problem. So let's uh, show you guys uh, what's the problem, what I'm talking about. So let's go to my Dreamweaver. I have my Dreamweaver here and let's create a new file. Let's call this test1.html, of course. Let's double click and open this and let's go back to my Flash CS6. Today, I'm not going to show you anything or any setting to get the transparent background in Flash CS6. We're going to be using and doing everything in Notepad++, then in Dreamweaver as well. So as I say, let's just go to File, Publish Preview, make sure it's a default HTML. And let's click and wait to export. Actually, I have my Swift file exported from uh, Flash CS6 and this exported as HTML. As you see, here's the uh, first HTML actually that I have on my folder. Let me just pull this up. And here's the first HTML and also it generates the first Swift. So let's close this and go back to Dreamweaver and let's go to design. Actually, I'm just gonna embed this and flash the easiest way. Also, as I say, I upload a video how to embed the flash in HTML using Notepad++ and Dreamweaver. So just go and check it out. And also there is uh, the project to download. All right, so let's go to insert media Swift file. And let's see, I have my Swift file. Make sure to have everything in the same folder you working. So let's uh, pick the Swift file, then hit OK. I'm not gonna give any name. All right, so let's just uh, preview Firefox. Actually, it's asking to save, let's save it. Let's preview this again. Go back to Firefox, preview Firefox. And here is the problem, actually. But let me just pull up the page. Where's the page? I don't know. Well, actually, this is a problem that I'm seeing when I'm trying to preview Firefox from Dreamweaver. And also it says Adobe Flash Play has tapped on a potentially unsafe operation. Well, honestly, I don't have any idea what's going on. But if we just read this line, actually it's saying Adobe Flash Play has tapped for some reason. Well, the first time when I had the same problem, I decided to go to Adobe website and make sure the latest version of the Adobe Flash Player is the same that I have installed on my computer. So let's close this and go to my Firefox. Actually, go adobe.com. And then let's, oh, what did I say? Well, let's adobe.com. What's wrong with, okay, here we go. Let's say the Adobe Flash Player and make sure the Adobe Flash Player version is uh, 11.7. So this is the Flash Player that they have, the latest version. So let's go back to my computer and make sure we run in the same version that they have on the website. So let's go to mm -hmm. go programs and let's see and make sure. So as you see, 
Also, we run in the Adobe Flash Player plugin, which is the 11. As you see that over here, that we did say version, we have 11.7, the same that they have on the website. Well, then I decided to go to my Dreamweaver and go to code. For some reason, Dreamweaver is adding this uh, Swift version, which is 15. If we see this line, also down here, there's another line. It says 15. I don't know why Dreamweaver it's given this uh, Swift version. But of course it won't play because uh, the version that they have on the website is 11.7. Uh, and so let's go back to my Dreamweaver. And the only thing I did and, you know, and just for check if it works, I just downgrade the version to 11. I just type 11. And also up here, this line, we need to type 11 oh come on and just save it it's control s on windows to save command s on mac and then just go and pre back in firefox and let's pull up my page and see the problem is gone just changing the swift version uh downgrading from 15 to 11 the same version of the Adobe Flash Player they have on the Adobe website and the problem is uh, solved. But we're still seeing the uh, background color. Well, let me just go and Dreamweaver and teach you how to get this uh, solid background out. So let's go back to my Dreamweaver. The first option is just, if you, we see this line where it says W mode value, it's opaque. So the only thing we need to change is to transparent. Just uh, type transparent. And also down here, this line, we have to change also to transparent. Transparent. And that's it. That's the only thing we need to make. Just change those two lines from opaque to transparent. So let me go back two steps as we have before. Also, there's another option we will give us uh, to do the same and much easier is go to design make sure the Swift file is selected down here when it says down W mode it's a pack and also do we will give us a uh, three option which is window opaque and transparent and then just go free on Firefox make sure it's safe and there we, and there we have have the Swift file, the transparent background, but uh, of course it's uh, we seen this uh, white background because uh, HTML for default gives a white color. So let's close this actually and go back to my Dreamweaver, of course code, and so let's add uh, the background so, and make sure it works. So let's just add um, the CS style rules. So let's say open style and also close style. And between, let's see, let's say body, open brackets and close brackets. And between, let's say, let's margin this. To zero and also let's pattern this to zero and let's add a, an image background to the body so let's open my folder make sure to have my image in the same folder that we have the FLA and the Swift file and the HTML actually if you see I have uh, my folder called 0429-13-2 and I have the image, some music, some video, the script that Dreamweaver generated when we embedded the Flash or Swift file. And so make sure it's in the image. Let's go into my image folder and just, uh, you know, I have this uh, image to set as background. So it's called body-background.jpg. Make sure if you have a GIF. So just go to Dreamweaver and, you know, so let's say background. 
image. Mm. URL open parentheses and between let's say image because we have inside the folder called image and fourth slash and say with I don't know I, I forgot the name so let's go back to my folder or oh, body dash bg all right so it's a body dash background dot jpg so as I say make sure if you're using gif add that gif if you're using png make sure add the name and png all right so let's save this and preview on Firefox and here we got nice the background is gone I mean we replaced for this image and there we have in a few steps using Dreamweaver we remove the background color so what about if you don't have Dreamweaver or are you trying to make a specific part in HTML let's say you have a logo or you have a banner so let me show you how we can get this using Notepad++ let me go back to my uh, folder I have this this is that we exported from uh, flash CS6 the HTML and I made this uh, test the HTML just uh, to show you the way we can insert and a specific container using Notepad++ or if you have a Coda also you can just go ahead and the, make the same process will be the same and it will work fine so I have my test.html I just uh, made this for this purpose which I have this container up here down here I have the this also bottom part so in red color uh, to the right I have some text so let's close this actually let me just uh, leave this open and go back to my folder and uh, open this with notepad++ we go back to my Firefox and see it says flash content goes here see let's open back um, notepad++ and you see here's the div ID flash container and also down here we have the divide close tag and so here's uh, what it says the flash content goes here the only thing we need to do is go back to my folder open this uh, first Irish email we exported from flash uh, CS6 let me just open with um, notepad++ and let me just right click and move to another view naturally and then we can see better so the only thing we need to do in here is just uh, copy this what it says open object tag make sure to copy all the way down what it says closing object tag make sure select it right click copy then go back to my test HTML and just paste it control V to paste of course small v command V to paste and mark and that's it we don't have to do anything else let's remain something that we did in, in Dreamweaver about the transparency so in case you have where it says the W mode value it's opaque also you need to change to transparent so let me just go back to my flash CSX and see project dimensions is a 1280 by 720 but if we go back to my Firefox this container is not 720 I'm sorry it's not 1280 by 720 so let's go back to my notepad++ and just change this to um, I guess it's uh, I made this 500 by 281 so let me just go back to my notepad++ and also change this line to 500 by 281 and also down here we have to change the same dimensions we just made up here so let's say 500 by 281 so as I said before make sure the W mode uh, transparent not opaque if you have opaque just uh, raise and rename it as transparent also down here this line make sure the 
W mode values set as transparent. If you have opaque, just uh, you know change and type transparent. And just uh, after we made those change, let me just save. It's Control S to save. Command S mark. And let's uh, preview. Let me actually just uh, reload the page. And here we go. Nice. With a few steps, we have the Swift file embedded in HTML in a specific part. As I say, you might try to embed a logo or banner or can be a menu, of course. Why not? So this is the way to get the Swift file transparent in HTML. Let me just add a, a background and make sure it's working nice. And make sure it's working. Let me just go back to my folder inside the image. I made this nice um, container background that JPG that I made in Photoshop. So let me just add this in this container behind the Swift file. So let me just go back to Notepad Plus Plus, and you know I have this is the container which is called a Flash Container. Actually, here's the CSS type code Flash Container. So let's just add background image uh, URL should be between the parentheses so, so inside let's say image or slash let me see go to my folder and let's call it container dash background so let me go back to my notepad plus plus let's say container slash vg dot jpg uh, so as I mentioned before make sure if you're using gif you should add on that gif if you're using png just type dot png all right make sure and let's save this control s to save command s mac Go back to my Firefox and refresh the page, and there we have. You see, we have the Swift file embedded with the transparent background, and also we added a nice background. So I think that's all for today. Hope you guys learned something, and hope you can fix that error that I show at the beginning of the tutorial where we had when Dreamweaver. Uh, just downgrade from 15 to 10 or 11 and it will work fine as you saw actually let me just go back to my Dreamweaver and preview this again Firefox and make sure it's working fine you see here we go we don't have the problem and also we remove the solid background and also we add an uh, image background that's the only thing you don't have to do any settings and flash anything of course if you are using flash CS6 just uh, publish make sure it's in HTML and that's all you have to do so hope you guys learned something and please make sure to subscribe to YouTube and follow me on Facebook and Twitter and make sure to be updated from Nero Studio thank you and have a great day